With the pandemic continuing, we're just one day away from students going back to school in Broward County. And we caught up with the superintendent ahead of the virtual return tomorrow. Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela is live in Lauder Hill for us right now. Hatzel. Christy, a lot of parents taking advantage of this uh, drive through uh, school supply giveaway here in Lauder Hill. Let's take you to some video from earlier this morning where we did see the superintendent of Broward Schools here, Robert Runcie, taking part in this. This was all put together by the Miami Marlins Foundation as well as the Kiwanis of Little Havana, one of several school supply events that we have seen here in Broward County. This one here at Larkdale Elementary in Lauder Hill. It just wrapped up about an hour ago. Uh, the superintendent says this is a perfect example of what happens when the community comes together, especially when it comes to fighting the pandemic. This is what he says we should be seeing when it comes to that fight. People doing their part, he says, remember, he says schools cannot reopen until we have positivity rates in the county between three to five percent in Broward County. They've been hovering at around 10 percent. Here's what the superintendent said about school supplies and being ready for the first day of school, which is tomorrow. Our students, although they will be learning virtually, they still need supplies. They still need resources in order to be effective learners, in order to engage. Our teachers have been engaged uh, in a tremendous amount of training to make sure that the e-learning experience is going to be different than what we had in the spring. The superintendent taking part in another giveaway later this afternoon. We're also seeing the same kind of event in Miami-Dade County, even though Miami-Dade County does not start school till August 31st. They're still getting ready. But again, the big day here in Broward County, uh, just 24 hours from now, we should be seeing something we've never seen before, which is students learning from home for at least the first couple weeks. For now, reporting live in Lauderhill, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.